when it comes to who can actually get a shot at these FEMA sites or any site, if you're confused, look, you're not alone. The information seems to be changing daily or just depending on who you hear it from. And as 10 Tampa Bay's Joshua Dorwich shows you, it's leading to people who think they're eligible being turned away even when there are more than enough doses still available. So you've got the state saying who's eligible for a vaccine, right? And then in some cases, like with educators, the federal government saying something different. It was confusing. Matt King got caught up in it Monday. He's an assistant professor at USF. Now, higher education employees are not explicitly included with educators for vaccine eligibility, but word apparently spread this weekend that college and university employees were getting the shot at the FEMA site in Tampa. Same thing in Orlando, too. They were clearly letting in faculty, and I had several people check my credentials. So King got a shot and went on his way. But FEMA now says he and others probably shouldn't have been allowed to do that. But his spokesperson also couldn't explain to me why it happened in the first place. When you get either no communication or conflicting communication from the state along with federal guidelines, which are also changing, it just makes it tough. Confusion continues to complicate the vaccine rollout. Eligibility and processes to sign up are different depending on which site you choose. For example, you have to go through the patient portal to book a shot at a county site in Hillsboro, but you use the state website to book a FEMA appointment. Or in that case, you can also just show up. And while pharmacies like Walgreens and CVS are vaccinating, for example, all K-12 teachers regardless of age, state and county run sites, they're only vaccinating teachers 50 plus. There are a lot of us that want the vaccine and are willing to be patient and they need to communicate with each other and with the public so that the public has a clue about what's going on. So it really does vary from site to site, which is why we did all of the homework and saved you some time here. Whether it's a county, state or federal site or pharmacy, we have it all in one place for you right now. We have it posted online right now to get that. Go ahead and pull out your phone, open up the camera and point it to the QR code that you see on the screen. A link will automatically pop up at the top. Go ahead and click on that. It'll take you directly to the information you need to get. Now, if your phone doesn't have a camera or you're having some issues, remember, you can always go ahead and send us a text. Text the word vaccine to 727-577-8522.